Welcome back to the local footy show here every Friday night, Channel 31, Channel 44 on your digital channel, Tell Your Friends. Benny, we said at the start of the show about a big celebration of 100 years. Pretty special, isn't it, really? A 100-year premiership reunion. There wasn't anybody there, but they're pretty proud of their history. Look what they unearthed. It was the Mansfield District Football Association and the teams, well, I'll just read off the thing here, were Main Dampel, Mansfield, Bonnie Doon and... Dallas type, it was only the four sides, and they played three rounds, so they played each other three times for 12 games, and well, it was back in the day, in 1911, that was whoever finished on top of the ladder at the end of the year was declared the Premiers, and, and Mansfield finished that year with um, 10 wins from their 12 games, so uh, they finished uh, two games clear on top of the ladder, so gained the Premiership that year, 1911. What makes this 1911? Uh, really special for us is we actually have the original trophy presented to the winner of that competition and that um, trophy was uh, donated to or given to Mr Din Reardon who was the captain of, uh, of that year as a um, as in the high esteem he was held of the club and, and that trophy is still in the family today and as you can see it's, it's in the cabinet here. So I think it's pretty special that a country footy club can actually have a 100-year-old trophy still in their possession or, or able to access that trophy. We found the, the 1911 Premiership photo in the archives of the State Library. And obviously sitting in the front is the little, the little um, tea set in front of everyone. And, and in the, the courier of the day, it says it was presented to Din Reardon. And I was speaking to one of our football club stalwarts here in June Reardon, who has been helping out in the kitchen for uh, forever, 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 which was fantastic. And um, mentioned that there was a, you know, found a picture and in the front there's a tea set and, and she said, well, I know where that tea set is, it's still in the family. Oh, it's my in-laws, really. But what a great uh, thing to be able to still have, 100 years, and it's I still up and going. I think it's lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice. And it's been well looked after? Yes, my sister-in-law, has it in Wangaratta and she polishes it up every week and really looks after it. It's fantastic for them to acknowledge it and to have the trophy is even more valuable. That's something great to see. My With father won that. That was presented to him. He was the captain of the side. So tell me, what uh, colours did they wear back then? Uh, Mansfield were red and white stripes. Uh, and then when um, Mansfield joined the Waranga North East, they became they wore the Blues, and then from Waranga North East into Tungamar League, Mansfield became the Demons, and then in 1998, when we joined the GV side, we're now wearing the Eagles colours. The football jumper underneath is a Dalatite jumper, who, who played in this competition in 1911. That was the colours they wore, was a blue and uh, black and red stripes. Most of the photos are uh, just private people's possession, you know, there's just mementos, there's very few and far between and I think we're pretty lucky to have as many photos as we do. I mean, there's one of the big ruckman taking a mark in the in an action photo from 1911 would be pretty rare I think for a country footy club. And also the, the premiership photo itself, uh, one of the, the local journalists at the Mansfield Courier said whoever took that photo must have had a get up for the day because it's such a magnificent photograph. And it's in, still in great condition. It is. It, it's it's so so good. You wouldn't think it was 100. You'd think it was um, 25 blokes dressed up in period costume. It's so clear and crisp. It's beautiful. And one quirky thing actually in the 1911 Premiership photo, you probably won't be able to see it on the vision, is um, there's a dog seated centre under the football with the players. And it's something quite, we probably wouldn't see that in a Premiership photo in these days. People have to know and I think they should know that the club's been going for 100, nearly 130 years. I think that's a very important thing to, um, for a community to know. I mean, 1880, footy started, but well, full-time footy was 1860, something like that. So we're only 20 years behind, you know, small country town. And I think it's very important that not just us as who are involved in the football club, but the, the rest of the community understand that we've been here for a very long time.